Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to CryptoCraft with your host, Nighthawk. I'm here doing a little bit of processing of some Monazet ore into Forcium because uh, I've been wanting to investigate working on a nuclear reactor, and I want to do so in such a way that I don't risk uh, causing a great big nuclear reaction and busting up uh, the whole spawn area or some other base area. So I want to encase it in, when we get that far, I want to re encase the nuclear reactor in a force field so that we, if we do end up messing up the, um, messing up our reactor, then we don't end up destroying our base. And that tree, someone has done very bad things to that tree. They need to finish harvesting that tree because it's ugly like that. Tangent. So... I haven't done anything with the new force field system, the MFFS, and uh, other than see a couple of little tiny pieces about uh, the basic setup. I don't know enough about it to actually do that setup off, just off uh, the top of my head right now, so we're going to do a little bit of experimentation. Now the first thing is I know we're going to need some of these force energy crystals. I don't know how we charge them or anything like that, but hopefully we will get there fairly quick. So I'm going to put I'm going to make 4 of these things. I know we need this MFFS multi-tool, which we need to make get some bronze out and make a wrench. Um, you can see this chest is getting rather full of various things. This is our project, or one of the project chests for our matter fabricator, and we're actually getting pretty close to having all of, the, all of the things ready for it. So let's actually grab both kinds of bronze and use up that smaller stack of bronze. And we'll get a wrench. What else did we need? So the there's this uh, control station, converters, security stations, so all sorts of different things. I think I need the capacitor and some other things here. Extractor booster. So there's all sorts of different things, different cards that you can and upgrades that you can get. So the we'll be exploring a few of these. I don't know how many we'll get through on this episode though. So I've got, I already have the carbon plates. We need to make some advanced circuits. And we can either use regular circuits or we can use silicon plates. Um, I think we have some silicon plates hanging around right now. And those aren't too hard to make, really. So I'm going to uh, use two of those to make some advanced circuits because it's way easier to make the circuits with those. And I've got some Electrum here. Um, I've got some Lapis on me already. Now all I need is some Glowstone, which I think I have to go downstairs to get. Ooh, some Irradiant Uranium. Uh, let's see. Yep, we're going to have to go downstairs to get it. Not a problem. And I'll make more silicon plates and silicon cells and stuff later as well. Uh, they're not too hard to make, really. Let's look through here. I'm sure we have some... Uh, ah, there we go. There's some glowstone. And we'll just make these right here for just because. So if we put our Electrum on all sides, we put some Glowstone there. That gives us two circuits for each batch, which is much better recipe than any of the other recipes. While we're down here, we need, whoops, we need a lever and some redstone. And... We're actually a little low on redstone right now. 
Um, I need to get the turtles going again. But really, in order to get them going again, I need to... Uh, I need to make more... Oh, I already got lovers on me. I need to make more um, barrels. And we're actually, surprisingly, uh, low on wood right now. I need to get a good farm going. So we'll put that, that, and a lever redstone. Lever there. Redstone here, and a circuit. Gives us this multi-tool. Now let's look at this, if we can. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. I need a blank MFFS card. Oh, I see what it's doing. It has all sorts of different modes on it that I don't know what they do. That one apparently makes cards. Ah, here we go. Force field, modular force field system guide. So we got our table of contents, our different uh, our change logs, version checks, card overviews. So there's our change log. Let's look here. So we got uh, monazit ore, forcium, a forcium cell. We use furnace. Um, forcium cell can store 1k forcium in, if in hand. If it's in hand, we right click it to activate. When active, remove forcium from player's inventory and stores it. Okay. We need to make cards. We get we make uh, power link cards to link capacitors with the card. Okay. Okay, we have an access license, a personal ID, and a data link card. And we can also, apparently it's also possible to make infinite force energy cards. Okay, so that didn't tell us what these various modes are, except that one is the only one I seem to uh, have there. So blank card takes paper and, a, and an electronic circuit. So it looks like we need to go get some paper. Uh, the other thing we need to look at is these forcium cells. That's a compact one. So apparently we need refined iron, an advanced circuit, and it's, uh, one of these force energy crystals. Let's see, is any refined iron down here? Uh, let's just take a look. I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of it upstairs. There's some. Uh, I think it was that much. Yes. Okay, let's make one of those really quick. I don't know if it does any good for us, but... Oh, it's charging up with all the forcium that was in my inventory. Okay, I don't know what that does for us, but we now have 198 forcium in it. I guess that's a good way of storing it. Um, I do have quite a bit of monazit, so if I if that was not a good thing to do, then I can always get more. And with the industrial grinder, it actually makes a lot of it. Um, it also makes this thorium, which appears to be a really, really good amplifier for the mass fabricator. I think, anyway. Let's look at these. So yeah, the scrap amplifies for 5,000. The If we use uh, scrap boxes, that adds 
does better, pulverized shiny metal. Actually, no, that's the same because it takes nine scrap to make those. Pulverized shiny metal gives us 100,000. Nickelite's low, so is redstone. Ender pearl dust does decent, so does glowstone. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uranium gives one million. Wow. Oh, there we go. A good use for all that tungsten dust that we have. Piles and piles of. So let's see here. Those are not so great. We all said. Diamond dust is 125,000. But yeah, thorium... Plutonium gives 2 million. Wow. So yeah, that seems like a good use for this thorium. The other use for it is making these thorium cells, which I think are something that we can put into the nuclear reactor. Uh, I don't know what they do yet. That'll be something I'll have to experiment a little bit. Once we have a good safe force field, then really the only major risk to experimenting with the uh, nuclear, reac nuclear reactors... Yeah, try saying that ten times fast. Um, once we have all of that set up, the only really real risk is in destroying the components of the nuclear reactor itself. And that's not exactly ideal, but it's not a horrible thing either. So we need some paper. Let's go up here. Harvest some reeds. Break that so we can actually plant those reeds again. Um, something else I need to work on at some point is... Um, oh, Thumbcraft. I actually really need to start getting to work on Thumbcraft here. What is that? Why is there a wire there? I must have accidentally placed that at some point. Okay, so we got our reeds. Let's turn that into paper. Uh, there we go. And we should have some circuits over here. I don't know how many of these cards we need to start with. So let's just make one of them to begin with here. So MFFS card. Now I think we need both a capacitor which takes some electronic circuits. We're going to need more of these force crystals. The frequency transmitters are easy enough. This is going to take a lot of circuits. I think we need a capacitor and a projector as the minimum starting setup. Huh. Don't know if we need that or not. We may need one of these control systems as well. And we may not be able to... Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get this thing to turn on a force field this episode or not. So I guess we'll just start going through these. We need a advanced machine block, so I'm going to need a ton more of these carbon plates. I'm also going to need a bunch more thorium, or uh, forcium rather, and another inventory or two would be helpful. Let's see what we can do here. Let's toss the ashes in there. Um, let's see, what else can we get out of our inventory? We can get that silly wire and toss it in here. Toss the Electrum and the Bronze. Um, I will probably need those again, but for the moment, 
Uh, let's see. We need to go get some more diamonds from storage. Um, obviously, I also still have on my project list to make the retrievers. I need to turn off this timer, too. And look, I have one empty barrel right now. So, let's see here. We need more diamonds. We've got a bunch of diamonds there. Okay, so let's make... Let's go make two more of these force crystals. Oh, I know what else I needed to grab was coal. Let's see, how much room do I got? Two more stacks. Each stack of coal that you turn into the plates only gives you like eight... Oh. Uh, eight of the carbon plates. So it takes a huge amount of the stuff. Put all of that in there, and I'm also going to need... The turtles are going to need to go harvesting coal as well. Or I need to go and do some fortune harvesting of some of the hollow hills that we have conquered and collect some resources that way. Okay, so we got our compact 4CM cell, we've got our multi-tool, we've got a blank card, let's see what else we need for this. We, got, uh, we have electronic circuits, we're gonna need Two circuits for trans uh, transmitters. We're going to need two circuits for the uh, device itself. Let's go get a couple of pieces of wire. I should have grabbed some copper, but my inventory space is already full again. Hopefully... Do these stack? No, of course not. Let's toss that on the floor for a moment. And we're going to put that away. I'm going to put... Uh, no, I'm not going to put that there. I'm going to put that in... I shouldn't put those in there either, actually. I'm going to take that... I'll put a couple of things back in my semi-personal chest over here. Free up a little bit of space. Okay, I guess that's going to have to do for the moment. Okay, so we got our transmitters. We've got... Uh, we need refined iron. I think I have a stack of it over here. So let's just put that recipe in. I want to keep that recipe over there. That recipe is a handy one at the moment. Okay, there's that. So we need... Oh, I need to make more of the... Let's start by making two more of these. And we can make more afterward once we need them. Okay, so advanced machine block. Let's put that recipe in. Two of those. Put these on the corners. And our transmitters. Gives us a capacitor. Let's find... Let's use this space over here for testing at the moment. Okay, so we have a capacitor. It's at 0% capacity, range 8, and no linked devices. Um, it needs a minimum charge of 1,000. Huh. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's just start uh, loading that up and refill our water here. Um, I'm st 
still looking for a good way to automate the water going into the grinder. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there is a way that you can just pump water into it directly. It has to be in the water cells, which is a little bit inconvenient. There's some ways that we can do it, but it's it's a little bit of a pain or as oh, since you can't just pump water into it. So let's just fill this thing up and see what happens here. I'm gonna take a moment to get this, I think. Um, I'm gonna while that's uh, grinding up some ore, I'm gonna go grab another stack of force or of uh, monazit. You can see a slime hiding down at the bottom of the hill there. So let's go put this in the grinder. So yeah, if you have ideas on how to automate the water, then that would be appreciated because it's a little bit of a pain. I don't, and I don't really want to have it going off the side of the grinder to uh, load the water into or load water cells on both and have have to have one going in on each or one going in from with full water cells and then pulling the empty ones out the other side and all just kind of a bit of a hassle there so I don't even know what clicking on that uh, capacitor is going to do even once I do get a full uh, forcium cell Let's take a look at the projector, because this is the other one we I know we're going to need. We need these projector focuses. Ooh, one recipe of this gives you 64 of the focus matrices, so that's good. And that was glass panes, I think it was. Where was that fo focus matrix? There it is. Refined iron, glass blocks. Do we have glass up here? Hardened glass. Glass panes. There we go. Okay, we need glass on the sides. So with as many of these focus matrices as you get, I wonder how much, uh, how many of them you need for various things. So we need another advanced machine block. Grab a machine block from there. I need more project tables too. Okay, there's our machine, advanced machine block. We've got advanced alloys, and we need another, f another frequency transmitter. There we go. Okay, so we just put these in all four corners. Advanced machine block, transmitter, and focus cores. There's our NF, our projector. Oh, let's go pick up more of the forcium from the grinder. Let the grinder do its thing. Okay, let's put this right here. Yep, I still need to get that uh, all fully charged up, I guess. Oh. Oh, they must be outside the wall. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, look at all the stuff. Apparently, you can, I guess this is pass-through power. Or maybe this is, that's the whether you can go through it or not, I guess. And it looks like I need one of 
these projector modules and possibly I guess the power link is a card that I get out of this guy. Test projector. Okay, let's look at the wall. So we need obsidian and four of these matrices. Let's check on our forcium here. There we go. Oh, we need to get the thorium out of the way here too. We're up to... F uh, we're over halfway done on that part. I think we needed more water too. Yeah, let's go get some more water. And... Uh, once I get, uh, once we get some of the uh, basics or some of this stuff together, I will probably also do some of uh, some more work on this off camera, just because there does appear to be a huge amount of things to learn on this. And let's grab. I guess I didn't need two stacks of obsidian. Let's go over here and we'll make our um, projector matrix or focuses. There we go, a wall projector. Let's also look at the cube, all four corners. And one of these. How about a sphere? Might as well make a few of the these various types so we can play with them. A deflector. That looks like it could be interesting. Expensive in terms of these focus matrices, but those are just a little bit of a pain to make. The tube takes six of those. Diagonal walls. Containment. Let's make one of these containment. There we go. Advanced cube. Interesting, we can turn a cube into an advanced cube. Let's, uh... Let's make another one of these. And we'll make one of these advanced cubes to find out what it does. And we also have all of these other upgrades. So apparently you do need a lot of these focus matrices for various things. <laughs> Let's see, NPC defense. Interesting. I wonder if that is what would make it so we can keep all of the bad things out. Camouflage. I know there's all sorts of different things that you can do with this. I've seen... Oh, I've only... It's been a while since I last watched one of the... Or looked at the... Uh, various uh, tutorials and things. So I'm not sure how much has changed. And I, my impression from the last one that I watched is that a lot of things had changed. So that it... Uh, even the little bit that I had seen is probably not very useful at this point. So we should have at least 60 more of Forcium ready. There we go. Let's get more... No! Where on earth did a creeper come from? Stupid, stupid creepers. Huh. 
where did he come from? And why did he have to go blow up my stuff? At least he didn't blow up any of the wood. Okay, let's stick that in there. Go get more water. And see how we're doing on our cell. If I'd known that I needed to fill this completely up before I could use it, then I would have st actually done that off camera just to avoid the delay. So probably it doesn't take too long to process this, so maybe a few more minutes here. This can, might end up being a little bit of a longer episode. And I probably also, I may also need to move my test rig over here where I can plug it into power easier. Possibly even actually, in fact actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, okay. There it goes. Stupid stuff. Clogging up my inventory. Let's see, what else? Let's get rid of that for the moment. That creeper blew up one of the torches. Let's see, we can... We can put our capacitor right here for the moment. You don't need power? Huh. Apparently he doesn't get power that way. I don't know how he actually gets power. We're going to leave a space just in case we need it. Okay, we are at 950, 970, so we just need three more batches here. And we will be able to do something. I don't know what, but we'll be able to do something. Okay, so now if we click on this, okay, object not in switch enable mode, uh, okay, so apparently that needs to, oh, Force energy capacitor. Force energy. What if I put... Uh... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> as is obvious. So, sure. So what do I need? A converter? Could be. That's going to be a bit of a pain to make. Um, extractor, maybe? But that's what I need. Um, I'm going to continue playing with this off-camera. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing my failing here. Um, this is... I think once I get this thing running, it will probably start making a lot more sense to me. But right now, it is a big mystery. I know I can put these in here, and that changes how it works. What happens if I put uh, that one? 
I guess those upgrades go in there somehow associated with that. What happens if I put that? Nope. Can't put two of them. Options? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the seeing my failing here. Um, I think it'll make a whole lot more sense, and I will probably be looking to get a nuclear reactor going before too long associated with this. And, uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and say have a great evening, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.